In this video, I will share with you some key tips to improve your running as a boxer. Of course, running is essential for improving your endurance in the ring and strengthening your legs. There's so many benefits to running, but it has to be done in the right way. Tip number one is to run without music. Boring. Scrap the headphones, get rid of them. Obviously don't throw them away, you use them from another time, but do not use them whilst you're running. If you're using headphones, you're listening to music, it can be easy to base your run on the beat of the music and you, you might be waiting for your favorite song to come on so you can run faster. And it doesn't allow you, you to think, you know, it doesn't allow you to think about things in your head. It can stop you from thinking things through for your boxing career. Maybe, you know, whilst you're running on your recovery run, for instance, where you could be thinking about some shots you want to start practicing in your training or how you want to go about your next fight. Instead, if you've got the music in your ears, you can't go through those thought processes and you can't strengthen your mindset. You know, you're, you're avoiding improving your resilience and also running without music forces you to pick up the pace when necessary rather than picking up the pace just when the song gets good or you know you, you feel a buzz from the song so i definitely advise if you're doing your sprints then scrap the headphones maybe on a recovery run you wipe the headphones in and just enjoy the run but when it comes to your sprints especially i, I would definitely advise that you scrap the headphones tip number two is to use an athletic track now an athletic track is so good for tracking the distance, especially for your sprints. So for instance, you might jog half of the, of the track and then you might sprint the second half of the track. So I'm pretty sure athletic tracks are around 400 meters. So, you know, if you're running half of it, if you're sprinting half of it, then of course you're doing a 200 meter sprint. So of course here you can start to keep track of your times, how long it's, it's actually taking you to get around half of the track. Tip number three is something I've mentioned already, which is recovery runs. Now these are so good for recovery, hence the name. How? Hold on bro. How? Okay, and um, all it involves is taking a light jog, you know, a pace where you could speak to someone whilst you're jogging that sort of pace, you don't want to be out of breath. And what this is going to do is it's going to contribute to more blood flow around the muscles in your body. Typically, what I like to do is a recovery run on the weekend, most likely on a Sunday, and it just sets you up nicely for the week ahead because you'll get rid of a few aches and pains. It's nice because it's relaxing and you know, you're aiding your recovery. So you can go again with training hard and putting in those sessions the next week. My next tip is to breathe. Are you serious? I know it sounds silly, but there is a certain technique you want to have with your breathing whilst you're running. You want to control your breathing. So this is gonna consist of taking slower, deeper breaths whilst you're running. And this will help to decrease your heart rate. And then you're gonna be able to save energy whilst you're running. Okay, and which means you can exert more energy within your run without blowing out too quickly. So this is going to help to improve your endurance and the pace that you can put into your runs. Hill sprints. Now hill sprints are great for strengthening the legs, increasing the power in your punches because you're exerting a quick burst of energy, you know, going uphill, which engages the legs a lot more. They are just great. They are one of my favorite runs to do because they're tough, they're challenging, but also extremely beneficial. So what you want to do is find a local hill near to where you live, and it can be any sort of incline, but as long as there is an incline itself, then it's going to be perfect. What you want to do is jog lightly up to the hill, and when you reach the hill, you want to sprint up it with good effort as well, you know, with good intention of, of, of keeping a strong pace. And then all you're gonna do afterwards is jog back down to recover and then go again. And what I would recommend is to try and complete this around 10 times, eight to 10 times, maybe even 12, but uh, give it a go and see if you can maybe increase a few more sprints within your run. Okay, so if you can implement these tips into your running, then it's going to increase your performances in the ring. It's going to increase your endurance in the ring massively. I have made a running handbook for amateur boxers. And if you want to check that out, 
there will be a link in the description.